Welcome to another Excel tutorial and in this video I'm going to tell you about the essential cell format. Now this cell format is so great because you can build upon it and in this video I'm going to tell you what the format is, where you can find it in Excel, how you can use it and then I'm even going to show you some tips and tricks beyond. <laughs> Let's just start with a simple range. So this is a simple range and what it has, it has some text. So some cells that have text, it has some cells that have positive numbers, some cells that have negative numbers, and then there are some cells that have zeros. So the value of zero. Now, usually, right, when you format something, you just give it a one of those built-in formats, you say this is currency, you know, this is a number. But what if I wanted to somehow differentiate these four categories? What if I wanted to say, well, if it's a negative number, make it red. If it's a zero, it does not need three decimal spaces or something like that, right? So what I'm going to show you is that there's a format that you can use where you can take each of those and designate a separate design or separate format to that category right so you can say the positive numbers like so negatives like so zeros like so and then text like so and i actually wrote it down kind of wrong here just the order is wrong and let me show you what the order is and you should memorize this because the order is always the same so it's always the positive numbers first then you go for the negative numbers then you go for your zeros and finally you go for your text and i'm going to write it like this because this is how you should remember it this is exactly how you should remember it. And let's just go through it. So let's, let's say we want to do this. For the positive numbers, we want the, the thousand separator. We don't want any decimal, uh, decimal places. And we want uh, the number to be blue. Because why not? Now for the negative numbers, uh, we want the minus. We want the number to be red. Uh, we still want a thousand separator and we do want two decimal places and we want the number to be red. For the zeros, we don't even want to see those, right? The zeros, we don't even want to see them. And then text, let it just be text. And the way you would do this is you would select your range. You would go control one for the cell format. You would go, this is going to be a custom format. You would remove whatever was the current format and then you would assign a format that goes something like this so you would say okay for the positive numbers i want them to be blue now you can put this on the beginning or at the end of the positive number format so it doesn't matter i'm just going to put it in the beginning and then you would say well i need a thousand separator and all I need then is for the number to show itself so without any decimal places and then for the negative values I want those to be red but then for the negative values I need a minus and then I need that thousand separator but now I also need two decimal places now, what do I want to do with my zeros? Usually what you would do is you would say, well, for the zeros, I just want the zero to show. So without any decimal places, and that would look like this, but I'm going to take it a step forward. I'm just going to do semicolon, semicolon. So I'm not going to specify a format for the zeros. And we're going to see what that does. And then we're just going to have the add sign, which means show me any text that would be present. If the add sign was not there, then the text would not show. So I'm gonna put this there and just okay this. 
And what I got is kind of brilliant. My positive numbers have no decimal places and they're blue. My negative values are red and they have two decimal places. My text is showing right there, whereas the zeros, they're not even there. But if I select a cell, you can see that the zero is there. It's just not showing up. So this really is amazing. And I could just simply switch that by going like this. I could remove the add sign write a single zero in there and now the zeros are going to show up and the text would be gone and if i just put both of them in so like this and like this and i'm going to remove the blue you know this is already something that could be a format but it's actually four formats in one right and that's the brilliance of this. Okay, so it's always positive, negative, zeros, and then text. And now let's see how we can use this or where can I use this? And let's start with this one. So this is a simple example. There's some positive numbers, negative numbers, and zeros. There's no text here. Um, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assign it one of those formats that we usually use in Excel. I'm going to say accounting and we usually use it because it's right off over here right if you use this one it's accounting and I'm quite happy with this I just hate two things about it the first thing I hate is the dollar sign is way to the left I would still want it to be kind of adjacent to this to the uh, to the number and the zero values they're not even there it's just a, a line like what's that about so i want to change those two I, i'm still very satisfied with the basic accounting format i love it i love what it does because you know it kind of aligns everything to the decimal point i love that but i just hate the dollar sign and i hate this and now if I want to change this, so if I go to the format and I look at the format that I actually got, it's something like this. Now, on itself, it's a lot to take in. But then again, can you see this semicolons? Right? There are three of them and we know why there are three of them. These are my positives. These are my negatives. These are my zeros. And this is my text. And now all I need to do is, regarding to what I want to change, just start changing what I need. And the first thing I'm going to change is the zeros, right? It has this, just a minus sign. And let's change that immediately. So let's go over here and let's just say, well, if it's a zero, you know, just write a zero. That's it. I say press OK. And there it is. Right? We already did something. But now, let's go change the, the dollar sign. And you're going to notice that there's a dollar sign and then there's a asterisk and then there's a space. And what that means is the asterisk and the space means, so the asterisk actually means write a dollar sign and then repeat whatever is after the asterisk. So that would be your space until you hit whatever is aligned to the, to the left. So to the right, you would align your uh, dollar sign and then to the, oh, it's the opposite, sorry. To the left, you would align your dollar sign and to the right, you would align your number. And in between, you're gonna have as much spaces as it takes, you know, depending on the width of the cell. But all I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna take this asterisk away. So I'm gonna say, yeah, let there be a space, but only one, and that's it. And I'm gonna do the same for my negatives and I'm actually going to change those even further with doing this. I'm going to remove the braces and I'm just going to add a minus in front of it. And now let's see what we've got. So let's just see what we've got. And let's go. Okay. And there it is. Right. So the dollar signs are now exactly where I want them. 
well, everywhere except for the zeros because I didn't change it there. So let's do that. Let's do that quickly. So let's say everything like this. And let's just take this asterisk away. Uh, let's say OK. Right, and there it is. So what I did is with the knowledge of this essential cell format, I changed the accounting format to what I wanted it to do, right? And, and it took the knowledge of that essential cell format to know what I'm actually changing. Where are the formats that I'm looking for, right? And now let me show you a tip or less, I call it tips and tricks beyond, but it's a very simple thing. So it's data for the entire year per month. It's actually just ran between the numbers are going to change. And then you have the min and the max value calculated off of these values, right? So now if I go to my uh, chart, let's just make this chart, you know, far better. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to remove uh, the legend and I'm going to use colors to say which is which. So I'm going to gray out the basic format. I'm going to change the minimum to red and I'm going to change the maximum to green, which makes a lot more sense. And then I'm also going to do this. I'm going to change the overlap so that they do overlap. And I'm going to change it into something like this, right? This already looks far better and it doesn't really need the legend now because it's, it sort of makes sense. This is the lowest, this is the highest and the rest of them are just kind of there. And then I'm also going to remove these lines. And if I remove the lines, I can also remove this. And there are actually just two values that I want to kind of emphasize. And that's the maximum and the minimum. And I'm going to start with the maximum. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say, well, for the maximum, I want you to show me data labels. All good, except for when I say show me the data labels, do you see how it also shows me a bunch of zeros. Why? Well, because of these blank cells, right? If they're blank, they actually have zeros in them. And there's a way to get around that with the NA and, you know, there's a lot of different ways to do this, but for what we want to show, well, how can I change this? Well, let me just change this data label. And how am I going to change it? Well, I'm going to format the number. And what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to say, you know what? If it's a positive number, show it. If it's a negative number, I still want you to show it. But don't show me a zero and don't show me text. And let's just add this one. And right off the bat, I just have this value, right? But because that is a format of the positive numbers or actually of the maximum, I can now simply refresh this and it will follow the maximum for everything, right? And of course, I could do the same for the minimum. Let's just go through that. So the minimum, I'll turn on the data labels and I get the same thing. So I get a bunch of zeros and let me format that. And basically it will be the same format as before. So show me the positive, show me the negative and don't show me zeros and don't show me text. And that is it. Right. And again, change this up a bit. There it is. Right. So knowing this essential cell format is really, really great for you. If you want to work with Excel, work with numbers, work with ranges. And basically also, if you want to change the ins and outs of Excel formats, because they're based on those four categories. All right, that's it for this one, and I'll see you on the next one.